Hello, this is Rose. Today, we'll introduce Arial 2E Color 3D Scanner. In the coming videos, we'll show you how to set up and use Scanner. Let's start. First, you can see the cardboard box. It's the same box when you receive the scanner, and there is foam inside it, inside of it for shock protection. We'll send this box to America, so you can see this is the foam, and this is an American plug adapter. We'll put different adapters inside of the box according to various clients. Now we've equipped four kinds of adapters, Britain, American, European, and Japanese adapters. And then take them away. See, this is the black waterproof case. Put them away. This case is 36 by 28. And its size is about this book. It's quite small. And its weight is about 5.2 kilograms, which is easy for girls to carry. The case is waterproof and dustproof, so whether to meet clients or do field work is very convenient. Let's open it. You can see there is also foam inside of the case because Aero 2E is a precision instrument. So this foam can avoid precision loss during transportation. Look at this side. Those are the parts of the scanner which are neatly packaged. Let's, in let's get to know them one by one. So first is the scanner. Let's say it. It's very slim. It weighs about 850 grams, uh, which is equivalent to a bottle of water like this. It's very light. And let's see its main structure. You can see on the front, there are three cameras. Around them, you can see those are field lights. And this is the infrared transmitter. And this is a press button. On the back, this is a smart indicator, and those are two sockets. Let's introduce them in detail. You can see these three lessons are 1.3 million pixels, and these two are black and white cameras, which are mainly responsible for obtaining 3D data. You can change the angles when you hold the scanner. As long as these two cameras see the object, you can scan it. And this is a color camera. It provides texture maps. If you do a single color scan, it won't work. And you can see these, these three, these three, three lights around black and white are white LEDs. And these three are infrared LEDs. Well, around white cam, around color cameras, you can see only six white LEDs. And this is the infrared transmitter, right? It's a very important part of the scanner based on the principle of structured light. Unlike other visible light scanner such as blue light and white light. It emits invisible rays when and can scan without light. It has incomparable advantages when scanning black objects and hair. It has no biological hazard, so it won't hurt our human body or skin. And this is a press button. Beginners pay attention to that. The first time you press it, it won't start Scanning directly, it will enter preview mode. In that mode, you can only see the object. The second time you press it, it will finish the mode. Then you press it again, it will start scanning. And this is the smart indicator. It helps us not only know the distance, the scanning distance, but also the device connection condition. It will show three colors, red, green, and blue. When the distance is too far or the, or the device is not connected, it will be red. And when the, the suitable distance of Aero 2E is about 380 to 540 millimeters. So when scanning within this range or the device is connected, it will be green. When the distance is too close, it will be blue. What I need to explain here is that when the distance is too closed, the details will be better, but it's easy to mismap. When the distance is too far, it won't mismap, but it's easy to lose the details. And that requires you to control the distance when scanning and practice a lot. And then these are two sockets. This is the power socket and this is the data port. 
And connecting arrow 2E requires two cables, one for the combination cable and one for the power cord. This is the combination cable. It is four, it is four, it is four meters long, which so that you can be more flexible when scanning. It has four ports. One, two, three, four. And this is the power. You're gonna connect it to the scanner. You can see this is a triangle, and you should keep that triangle up when connected. And yes, you can hear a beep. When you pull it out, you can pl pull this part a little bit back. And then it's done. And this is the power port. You're going to connect it. When you hear a beep like this, you finish the connection. And then you can see the USB. This is the USB 3.0 connector. It should be connected to the computer. And this is a circular connector for the power cord. And this is the power adapter. And this is the original power. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need this when traveling to other countries. Well, now you can connect the American plug adapter to the power adapter. This unit will convert the household electricity to the power that the scanner needs to work. And then, this is a USB drive. It contains a real software, a real set files, operation guide, and etc. The arrow set files are the configuration files about this scanner. Each scanner has its own configuration file. So you better keep it properly, and it's best to make several backups. And this is a dongle. It's, you should keep it in the computer when scanning. It can't scan without it. It's like the key to the door. So please keep it properly and don't lose it. Those are markers. You're going to need them when you're scanning, when you scan those things. And remember, when you use those markers, change the scanning mode to markers mode. And you won't need them when you scan human body. Take them away. You can see some papers. This is the product one T card. And this is the product certificate. And this is the delivery receipt. Let's check them out. Okay, the first one is Arial D Arial 2E3D scanner. Okay, master plate. We're gonna introduce it later. And USB stick, this one. And software key dog. Yes, this one. You can call it dongle. And positioning targets, those markers. And power supply international cable sets. That should be this one. And power adapter, this one. Combination cable, this one. And carry case, the waterproof case. And another power supply international cable set. That's the American plug adapter. After you check them, you should sign the delivery receipt and send us a copy will be appreciated. And that's the paper. And that is the master plate. You can call it collaboration board. It's very fragile, so put it away immediately after collaboration. And it has two parts. Okay, look at here. This is the collaboration part. Those are reflective markers that are used to collaborate the scanner's accuracy. This is the quick gray card. It's used to adjust the white balance. Don't put things on them, okay? And put it away. And if the port on your computer is not enough, you can buy a USB 3.0 hub like this. And that's all for today. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to know about this scanner and what kind of thing you want to scan. You guys will make our scanner even better. For more Arial tutorials, check out the other Arial videos or search the website below. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.